is Zach Goodwin. I'm creative director at iStrategy Labs, and I've been overseeing the brand and graphics for DC Weight this year. I'm Lauren Crowell. I'm a social experience designer with iStrategy Labs, and I've been working on a lot of the signage and graphics for DC Week. So last year was the inaugural DC Week, and for that first year we had a color scheme that was cyan, whites, and black. So our goal this year was to remain consistent. We kept the same mark, we kept a lot of the same photography and typography. But our goal was to inject a little additional color, and we came up with a scheme of an all CMYK palette. So you can see the magenta, the yellow, the black, and white. Um, and our goal was to maintain the buoyancy that you could feel in the um, brand last year, but to make it additionally festive. It was our second year, it was going to be double the size, and we were excited. Um, so once we had decided on CMYK, and one of the very first iterations of that color palette was seen in this poster here, it's where we began figuring out how to play with the four colors effectively together, keeping primarily the blue as the backdrop um, and the yellow and, and pink or magenta as highlights. So once we've had that established, we started making additional posters. So we have a total of five different DC Week posters and then began working on the scrim. The scrim is the giant 27 by 20 foot backdrop that'll be at Warner Theater and the 930 Club and may appear at Arena Stage. So once we had that designed, we wanted to come up with something that we could share with everyone else. And that came in the form of this iPad uh, backdrop, as well as the desktop backdrop. And that backdrop, believe it or not, will be available today for free. Uh, but I'll let Lauren tell you a little bit about that. So with this scrim, I really wanted to make a huge visual impact and really speak about what was DC Week, what DC Week was about, and as well as kind of let the users relate to what they know about the digital world. So as they're examining all of the thousands of little bubbles, they might see a symbol that they recognize and that they relate to. So we've got the Pac-Man over here eating some Twitter birds, and then there's also uh, Mario over here chasing a mushroom. So just little things like that that give a little extra fun to the experience of DC Week. We are unveiling it today on the internet. You can download it for free and it's available in iPad and desktop resolutions, um, but it's limited edition and you can only download one. Actually, you can download as many as you like, tell your friends, come get one.